Hey guys, welcome to CEC Family Discussion. I am so excited. I'm so excited, I think I might explode. Remember, in the description of this video, you have links to access the Bring It Back sheet and also the Family Discussion outline. Like I say every time, the point of this video is to get families talking about Jesus and also to bridge what we're learning in CEC with the entire family. First things first, let's have a quick discussion. Have you ever had to show anyone how to do something before? It could be anything like a sport, a skill, an instrument, anything. Name a time, have everybody share, name a time when you've had to teach somebody how to do something like that by showing them how. Go. All right, guys, we're back. And when I see you in person, I want to know some of the things you've had to teach people. Like, for me, I've had to teach people a lot of things like board games, Settlers of Gatan, that's my favorite game. Also, I've had to teach people how to beatbox. Beatboxing is really fun, but not everybody knows how to do it. Just making drum noises with your mouth. It's actually kind of easy. Just... Or you could just make weird noises in some sort of beat and then say you're beatboxing. Like, watch. All that counts as beatboxing. I just taught you how to do something. That being said, let's talk about Jesus. When Jesus was on this earth, he did a lot of things. He told stories, he did miracles, he was a great teacher. So we're in another quick discussion. Out of all the things Jesus did, what was your favorite thing that he did? Go. Awesome, we're back. Jesus did a lot of amazing things. One of my favorite things is when he walked on water. I thought that was so cool. I mean, seriously, he walked on water. I want to do that someday. Today, we're talking about core value number four. Listen to this. Every believer is a supernatural minister of the kingdom of God, carrying on the works of Jesus in the power of the Holy Spirit. All right, guys, listen to these verses. Matthew 4, ch Matthew chapter 4, 23 through 24. Jesus went everywhere in Galilee, teaching in the synagogues, preaching the good news about the kingdom of heaven, and healing all the people's diseases and sicknesses. The news about Jesus spread all over Syria, and the people brought the sick people to him. They were suffering from all kinds of diseases. Some were in great pain, some had demons, some were epileptics, and some were paralyzed. Jesus healed all of them. Matthew 15, 30-31 Great crowds came to Jesus, bringing with them the lame, the blind, the crippled. The crippled, those who could not speak, and many others. They put them at Jesus' feet, and he healed them. The crowd was amazed when they saw that people who could not speak before were now able to speak. The crippled were made strong, the lame could walk, the blind could see, and they praised the God of Israel for this. Now check this out, Mark 6, verse 56. Everywhere he went, into towns, cities, or countryside, the people brought the sick to the marketplaces. They begged him to let him touch just the edge of his coat, and all who touched it were healed. John chapter 14, verse 12. I tell you the truth. Whoever believes in me will do the same things I do. Those who believe will do even greater things than these, because I am going to the Father. That is so powerful. When Jesus came to this earth, he did not just live. He showed us how to live. Jesus was the best example of how to live. He loved people. He teached people. He listened to the Father. He laid his hands on the sick people, and they got better. Jesus has given us the authority to do the same things that he does. So, I got a cool example for you guys. We were talking about this in kids' church just last Sunday. We were all, um, we had talked about it. We did the lesson, and at the end, I asked the kids if anybody needed healing for anything. So, the first girl, she... She raised her hand, and I had two kids pray for her, and um, there's no, we couldn't uh, test it out or anything, so she said she's going to let me know next time I see her whether or not she got healed. But then, a boy raised his hand, and he said he, want, he needed healing because his ankles hurt. So we're like, okay, I, we had two kids pray for him, they prayed, and then I asked him how much better it was, like on a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being 100% better. He said it was a 10, and he started jumping up and down. And we praised God. We all gave Jesus a round of applause. And then we played a game. It was awesome. God is so good. So, like, that happened just this last Sunday. So, 
guys, this is serious stuff. Jesus has given us the authority to do it. We just need to walk in it. Everybody say, walk in it. All right, walk in it. So, okay, so you guys can do it. So now, pause the video, do one last little discussion, and you're going to ask each other two things. First, see if anybody in your group needs healing, and if there's anybody, pray for them. After that, I want you guys to make a pact with each other. Make a pact with each other that you will have courage to pray for people who need prayer. Okay? Simple as that. Just living like Jesus. All right? Go. Awesome, guys. Thank you so much for watching. You are awesome. Don't forget to bring back your bring it back sheets. I will see you later. Peace.